What's going on guys? I am already on the ice today and today I'm going ice fishing but with a twist. Today I'm going to be catching yellow perch, hopefully three of them and catching and cooking them for you guys. But the recipe I have for you guys is going to be so awesome. I cannot wait to show you guys. Now I probably will be catching some bluegill today but I think I think I'm going to be throwing those bluegill back because I'm going to be targeting the yellow perch. But if the bluegill is big enough, I think I will eat it. I will save some of the smaller ones, even I'll save some of the medium sized ones. But some of the bigger ones that are towards like the end of their life cycle, then I'll probably eat those. I got this trusty jig head with me. I believe it's like a 132nd ounce or 164th ounce jig head. And I really like these flashy colors to it. It almost looks like a fly. And I'm gonna be tipping this jig head today with these mealworms. This is an awesome combo. You can catch a ton of fish this way and it's really, really simple to do. There we go, guys. Oh, no! All right. First bluegill of the day. Good eater size, I'd say. Oops. I don't know. I think I'm going to put this one back. All right, guys. This is the first bluegill of the day. I, I think it's slightly too small for me to use for a catching cook. And um, it's just a bluegill. I'm sure there's more down there. Got him. Oh, that's a tiny one. So we'll just put it back. Got one. Oh my goodness. Look at the size of this perch. All right guys, look at the size of this perch I just caught. And this will be a perfect eater size for a catching cook. I mean, this is a good sized yellow perch. So he should have a lot of meat on him. Now I have my machete with me and I'm gonna dispatch him real quick so he doesn't have to suffer out on the ice and freeze to death. So I'm just gonna take the back of my machete Hit him probably once on the back of the head will kill him, but twice just to be sure. I don't want this guy to suffer at all. He might be moving, but that's just nerves. He is definitely dead. Alright guys, that is it for the fishing portion of this video. I only managed to catch one perch, but this perch actually is pretty big. So this is going to actually probably fill me up. Now, how I'm going to be cooking it today is I got my propane tank right there. And I have my pots and pans right here. And then I have this oven, or this propane stove that I'm going to attach to my green propane tank. It comes with a nice stand, so I can put my propane tank right on the stand. Screw on the stove like that. All right, I got a small flame going right now. Since I have that started, I'm gonna get out my pan. This is my pan here. I'm gonna start off by putting on a little bit of garlic butter, just like that. And I'm gonna let that melt. And a little bit of butter. 
A little bit more butter. A little butter never hurt. All right, as my butter is melting, I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to fillet this perch. You can fillet it so many different ways, but I'm just going to show you guys the way that I do it. What I'm going to do first is just cut off its head. This is a really tiny fish head right here. This is what the perch has been eating. I'm going to try getting some of the scales off. Once you get it started, it's pretty easy for the scales to come off. Alright, so this is what I'm left with. I'm actually going to cook the fins and all. Fins don't really bother me. What I really care about is the meat, and how I'm going to cook this, the meat should just fall right off the bone. What I'm going to do is cut slices into this fish, and when I put it on the stove, the skin isn't going to curl. Alright, now since most of the scales are off, I'm just going to cut slices into the side of the fish. Alright guys, that's what I mean by slits. I'm just cutting slices so the seasoning can get in there and really flavor the fish. Now there are a couple scales left on here. It's really not that big of a deal. I'm gonna wash it off in the water anyway. All right, I took the butter off the pan because it took me a little bit longer to fillet the fish than I, than I wanted to. This is my butter. The next ingredient is lemon. I'll even put the lemon, open up the fish, and put a lemon inside the fish. Next I have spinach. Ow. Oh my god, I can smell the lemon, it smells so good. But next, I'm gonna add some spinach. This is gonna be my green vegetable. Cool thing about the spinach is too, the spinach will soak up all the oils in the butter and it'll act like a sponge so when you take a bite of like the spinach you get all the flavors of the fish, of the lemon, of everything. And I also have some ginger. I'm going to be making a lemon ginger fish today. And I don't even really worry about the skin. I'm not really going to be eating the ginger. I'm just going to put pieces in like this. Alright guys, everything is cooking nicely right now. Now this is some of my favorite seasoning right here. It's called Herbs de Provence. And um, I have honestly no idea what's in it. I'm sure I could just read on the bottle what's in it. But I'm just going to add a little bit of that. And... I like a little bit of spice, so I'm going to add some cayenne red pepper. Guys, just look how this is coming together. It is looking so good. I wish you guys could smell this right now. It smells so good. Now, the fish isn't going to take long. I'm probably going to do about four or five minutes on each side. But it smells so good right now. Gonna put the lid on, keep some of my heat in. I just want to say something, guys, while this is cooking real quick. I broke my GoPro. So the shots in my videos aren't gonna be as good as they normally are. I'm not saying they're the best regardless. But now I only have one camera. So I have to film my entire day using one camera. Normally I could just sit like a GoPro on my chest or head. And I could just have that filming and I really wouldn't even need to worry about anything. But now, since I only have this one camera, and it's only on a tripod, I have to like figure out all these different angles, where I can put it, where I can't put it. It's really frustrating.
Oh man, that smells so good. All right, time to flip it. Oh, that's hot. That smells so good. All right, guys, I have to do a taste test before it's finished. I'm so hungry right now and it smells so good. I can't believe how good this tastes. I can taste the lemon, I can taste the garlic, I can taste the herbs in there. Man, I can't wait to eat the spinach because the spinach is just gonna soak up all the flavors. Look at that. See what I mean, how you don't really have to worry about the bones? The meat will just fall right off the bones. These are all bones right here. All right guys, the fish is done. I just turned off my propane tank. I'm just letting it cool off right now. I cannot wait to try this perch. I've never actually done like an actual catch and cook with seasonings and stuff. So I'm really excited to try this out. And depending on how it tastes, because it smells amazing, but depending on how it tastes, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna have to do this again. All right guys, I cannot wait. My food is all cooled off. Let me take the lid off. Oh my goodness. I can't be too much longer because this camera is about to die and it's my only one. But just look at this. Are you kidding me right now? I am not a cook by any means, but this looks so good and smells so good too. I can't wait. And it's just soaking in all the juices. Like this is a piece of spinach right here. Oh. That tastes so good. I'm just going to use my fingers. Look at that white meat. That tastes so good. More spinach. My camera's about to die, guys. I don't have a lot of time, but just look it. It's just falling off the bone. That's what I mean by... It's just going to fall off the bone the way you cook it, so bones really don't matter that much. Like, look at all this good meat. That's so good. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'm really not a good cook whatsoever, but this tastes so good. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe. It would mean so much to me. Peace.